The Bunsen burner is a great way of heating up substances in a controlled way, but it must be used with care. A handy way of remembering how to light a Bunsen burner safely is set a light. Let's see what this means. S is for safety, which always comes first. Make sure you're wearing a lab coat and safety glasses. Tie back long hair and clear your bench of anything that's flammable, meaning that it could catch on fire. E is for edge. Place the burner on a heat proof mat a safe distance from the edge of the bench. T is for tube. Check that the rubber tube is free of cracks. Connect the tube firmly to the gas tap. Make sure the tap is in the off position. Remember, the off position makes an L shape. A is for air hole. The air hole is located at the bottom of the barrel, near the base. It can be opened or closed by turning a metal ring called the collar. This controls the amount of air and oxygen that mixes with the gas. The more oxygen, the hotter the flame. Always make sure that the air hole is closed before lighting the burner. Okay, you're ready to light the match and hold it above the barrel. Finally, you can turn on the gas. It's important to light the match first to avoid releasing dangerous gas into the air. You should always follow these six steps when lighting a Bunsen burner. Now you've successfully lit the Bunsen burner, you should begin with a bright yellow flame. This is called the safety flame because it's easy to see and isn't as hot as the full flame. To get a hotter flame, we need to mix in more air. To do this, turn the collar to open the air hole. You will now have a blue flame with a bright blue inner core. The hottest part of the blue flame is here, at the tip of the cone. There are three more safety rules for using the Bunsen burner while it's lit. If you need to move the burner, hold it by the base. Don't touch it any higher than the collar. Never leave a lit Bunsen burner unattended. And if anything goes wrong, turn off the gas tap immediately. Okay, so you've finished your experiment. Before turning off the Bunsen burner, close the air hole first to return to the safety flame. Now you can turn off the tap and blow out any small flame that remains. Disconnect the hose and leave the Bunsen burner to cool before packing it away.